This is hilarious, dude. Have you ever even been in a buggy? Let's go, hunt, let's go. Hey guys, I'm John. This is Drew with Brio. We're doing something that's never been done ever before. We're cooking an entire pig on a rotisserie, a buggy rotisserie. This is a Lancaster County special. You're not gonna wanna miss this one. For those of you that don't know, a buggy is a carriage. We are from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and a buggy is the main form of transportation for the Amish community, and we borrowed one from one of our coworkers. And we're very appreciative of that because obviously Drew and I don't have a buggy. We also know how to drive a horse. We'll be getting lessons on how to drive a horse. But the first step is gonna be spatchcocking the pig. We will have to remove the pig's head in order to make it fit on the spit, and then we're gonna wire it on the spit to get it onto the buggy when the buggy arrives. They're coming from Brio right now. They should be about halfway here and we should see them rolling in shortly. They're coming at buggy pace. Buggy pace, and which also- you need to understand is like five to eight miles an hour. True, horse that we have today is a steady, slow, easy rider. Yeah, I don't know what any of that means, but I'm excited to get inside of a buggy so I can check another vehicle off my ability list. Capabilities. Capability. Let's go, fire it up. Yep, constantly innovating. Very exciting moment in the video. We have our friends arriving right now in the buggy behind us. If you can see it coming over the horizon, this is a historic moment. The first time in the history of mankind that a pig has ever been cooked on a buggy. I think it's beautiful. So this buggy showing up is a traditional Amish buggy, but it's got a little twist to it. This one will be the Ford F-150 of buggies. It's got a truck bed on the back. Tailgate and, and everything. Tailgate and everything, which would be used for hauling goods and other things. Or in this case, I believe, an X-30 fire pit. I believe this will be the first burning fire pit in the back of the buggy I've ever seen. Hello! Hey, hey, hey. hey dog, here, look. Good boy, that's it. We need to, hey, here puppy. Hey, good boy. <laughs> Build quality is amazing. This is a 2018 model. Uh, the seat is velour and very plush. Oh, I've lived in this county my entire life and I can tell you I've never been inside an Amish buggy. Very comfortable. Yeah, this Plenty is what of room. it's like. I have a lot more room than I do in Southwest. Now we are just going to season it and carry it over to the buggy and get it ready to start the rotisserie. Beauty Butcher Black is the blend we're gonna be using. Gently seasoning. With the help of gravity. This, with the help of gravity, this pig. Yeah. It's gonna be delightful. Okay, the pig's all wired onto the spit. Now we're gonna to move to the buggy. We've got an X-Series fire pit and an X-30 carefully secured to a Brio base. Everything is safe, everything's secure. So this log cabin of kindling is just the ignition. We're gonna be running lump charcoal on this cook for the duration of the day. That's gonna be the primary fuel source. We're gonna keep it nice and low and slow because we're gonna be cooking this pig for six, seven hours. We don't want a lot of heat, we want consistent heat. Lift with your knees and then just like so. Are you in? Oh, John is experiencing some heat. A, sm a small and bit I'm, of discomfiture. I'm, I'm shielding his loins with this uh, piece of two by six. So we have a pretty simple machine here. We're going from a 41 inch buggy wheel to an 11th tooth sprocket to a 72 tooth sprocket with machine size chain. We have a clamp on the wheel to make sure we have plenty of gription so nothing's gonna slip. We have tension from the suspension of the buggy and our rotisserie spit. And we're gonna be trying to maintain about three to five miles an hour in this buggy so this pig spins at a reasonable rate to continue the cooking process. This was built by our R&D team, Alan and the team at Brio. If you look in here, you'll see that we, we built a custom holder for our Brio base. These are laser cut parts. We got bends. This is a professional operation to cook this pig. We want to make sure everything's up to, up to snuff and works great. And thanks to the Brio team for helping us out and getting us all dialed in. Not only do we have access to this buggy because of our dear Amish team members, but also the craftsmanship that you see here is thanks to them as well. Let's go, Hunt! Let's go! Five miles an hour! Six, eight. So the old saying is you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink, but I think John will be it too. There you go, Ned, have a drink of water. That's a good boy. Yeah, there you go, slurp some up. Oh. So now I'm coming in a big circle now. Right now back, back to the wind cast. Forward a little bit. Put your shaft through the loop. It, it, that, that's called the tub. Yep. Oh, we need not twist it. Oh yeah, yeah. my first time. Yep. <laughs> We've learned how to hook Ned up, we've got him all dialed in, and now we're gonna learn how to drive. Be quiet, we're filming. 
Why don't you take the range, John? Oh, I will take the range. Thank you, Drew. Yeah. All right. How do we drive? So we got right lane, right rein to go to right, right, left, left lane to go left, <laughs> pull Both. to stop, push to go. Oh. Alright, we got Huckleberry inside the buggy and we're gonna get back after it. He replaced Drew and uh, we're just gonna go in shifts for the rest of the day. Get up! So, like around here, we have all those Amish buggy rides, but they're like fake. They put you yeah. in a huge carriage with like 10 people. This is pretty relaxing. We've unhitched Ned here. We're gonna give him a little break, give him a little grass, give him a little water. In the meantime, when we need to turn the peg, we'll just pull the buggy forward a little bit. And then after he's had a break, we'll hitch him back up and we'll keep this party going. Okay, well, Alan is, wa is walking away. He's going back to Brio to do good, important work for all of us and all of you. And that means that Drew and I are left here alone with Ned. So we're gonna take great care of Ned. Ned's gonna take great care of us. What do you think uh, about the operation, Drew? I think it's great. Ned and I are gonna share some grass That's and right. a bucket of water. <laughs> we're having lunch. We popped up the nice Brio canopy. We're giving Ned a break, the horse. We're giving Huckleberry a break in the shade. We're giving Drew Bell a break in the shade. You can see the pig is behind us, just moving it a little of every few minutes, moving it a few feet so that it doesn't burn. But everything's under control. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. We started at 10 a.m. this morning. We're reading internal temperatures around 120, 115 in the back hams. And everything's going according to plan. We're just basting uh, the pig. You can see it's getting nice and roasted. Occasionally when I'm basting the pig, I baste Drew. Yep, I'm also nice and roasted. So Ned is finishing a little water and grass break. We're getting back on the buggy, hooked back up, and uh, we're gonna continue down the road. Um, Ned's been great, he's been a real asset. Him and Huck have become fast friends, and the pig is cooking beautifully. Glad we got Ned, we hired the right horse for the job. He didn't come cheap, but can't put a price on a good horse. Well, I guess you can. I'm having a lot of issue with John here. I don't think he knows what he's doing when he's hitching the horse. I've been having to check his work every single time, and there's always two or three things wrong. No, we go that first or that? No, we go clips first, right? Oh, it's important. No, it's important. They said which some one, which one? One of them goes first. Clip right here. Yeah, clip it on, and then clip the back. I feel like this. We need this somewhere. Now there's no governing authority involved in buggy transport, so we found we found some guys on the side of the road and they look hungry. They're gonna be our first taste testers. We're up to temp. We're gonna see how it goes. You guys don't wanna be taped? Come on! That's really good. Amazing. Mm. Mm. Here we go. Yeah. yeah. It's hot. Yeah, ripping off. Yeah, let me see that knife. <laughs> feeling a little peckish, feeling a little hungry. What about you, Drew? Yeah, I could definitely go for something. We've been sitting out here for a while. What could we, just a little, I could go for like a little, little pork maybe? Yeah. What do you think? Let's try yeah. some. Oh, yeah. oh, it's delicious. Go. Huck and I did the final lap, the pig's ready. We're gonna pull it off. We're gonna put it right here on this table where the journey began like six, seven hours ago. And uh, we're gonna see what it tastes like. We're clear. That chain did its job. Beautiful chain. Yep. Worked great. Worth its weight in gold. I'll let you take the easy side. There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. 
The pig is on the board. Throw me some, some snips, please. Thank you, sir. I'm gonna go around and snip these wires and free this pig up and see what we're dealing with. Look at that, we'll grab into the tenderloin. Pulls right off, look at that. Pull torque. Now pull the front shoulder. Look at that, ribs coming apart. Pull pigs coming apart. Now let me pull off this shoulder. Look at that shoulder blade, look at the juice. Yep. Two. Throw one in my mouth, John. All right, let me get you a good piece. <laughs> That's gonna come for you. <laughs> okay, we're gonna flip over this side and we're gonna pull out these tenderloins on the back. Look at this. Just coming absolutely off the bone. Wow. We're gonna try a couple of these. Lay a couple pieces there for us to give an official taste test. Skin, nice and crackly. Take a piece of skin, a piece of tenderloin, and we're gonna dip it in a little bit of this black beer to butcher seasoning, and we're gonna give ourselves a taste test. You ready, Drew? Yeah. All right, grab yourself a piece, give it a little dip, a little cheers. Cheers. Here we go. Worth it. Oh yeah. Absolutely awesome. Yeah. Wish you guys could try it. The rest of this pork is gonna be served for our production crew tomorrow at lunch. Tomorrow's Friday. It's gonna be thank great. You. We're gonna pull it all off. So thank you for the crew for helping us out. Thanks for tuning in the video. We'll see you next time.